Hey, this is Joe Gilder from Personas. In this video, I'm going to show you what makes Studio One the best tool for mixing your songs. Let's kick off this mix with a blank song. The first thing I do is drag the audio files into Studio One. Now let me show you how easy it is to organize and route your tracks. Let's start with the drums. I select all my drum tracks and choose Pack Folder. Now, all the drum tracks are grouped together in a folder we can name Drums. Let's make them all blue. Next, we need a bus for our drums, which is as easy as clicking right here. Boom! We've created a bus that is linked to this folder, and we can adjust the volume fader for this bus right here on the folder track. In just a couple clicks, we've color-coded and routed all our drum tracks. Whoops, it looks like I forgot to include one of the drum tracks. Let me drag that into the folder. Studio One automatically changes the color of the track and routes it to the drum bus. I can do the same thing for all the tracks in my session. Isn't that pretty? We can even collapse or expand these folders as needed. Okay, now that our tracks are organized, we can easily make them do exactly what we want them to do without a lot of unnecessary steps. For example, by selecting a track or a group of tracks, I can easily solo, mute, and record enable them by pressing S, M, and R on my keyboard. Want to solo the drums? Select the drum bus and press S. I didn't have to create a group or click the solo button on each individual drum track. I just soloed my drum bus. I can even adjust the volumes of several channels at a time simply by selecting them and moving the fader. But what if our drum tracks are too hot or too quiet? Let's select them all and turn down this trim knob at the top of the track. I like to have a separate bus for my kicks, snares, and toms. It's as easy as selecting them, right-clicking, and choose Add Bus for Selected Channels. Now, let's get a good drum mix. Now that we've got a good static mix, it's time to start thinking about plugins. Before we do that, let's check out Mix Effects. This is one of the coolest features inside of Studio One. Mix Effects gives me the ability to apply different analog console characteristics across all the buses in my mix, not just the mix bus. We include our console shaper plugin with Studio One Professional, but there are more Mix Effects options in the Personas shop. Let's hear how Console Shaper affects the sound of our drum mix. Now let's add some plugins to our tracks. Studio One's drag and drop functionality makes this ridiculously easy. No more clicking through endless menus. Just locate your plugin in the browser and drag it onto the track. Let's add our Fat Channel plugin to this drum bus. Fat Channel gives us three different compressors and EQs to choose from. Let's use these on our drum mix. That sounds good, but what I really want to try is some parallel compression. I don't need to do any fancy routing to pull this off. I just use the splitter tool. 
With just a few clicks, I can split my signal into two signals, compressing one and leaving the other uncompressed. Then I can easily blend between the two. All of this is happening on a single channel in Studio One. So stinking cool. Now I'd like a little reverb on my snare drum and also my tom tracks. All I need to do is select these tracks and drag my favorite reverb plugin onto the Sends section. Studio One immediately creates the Sends as well as an effects channel return for the reverb. And I can easily add this reverb send to any other channel or to my entire drum bus. Here's a brand new feature inside of Studio One that's amazing. Clip gain envelopes. In the past, if I wanted to adjust the decay of a tom hit, I would have to do something like this. With clip gain envelopes, I can easily redraw this waveform to sound like I need it to sound. Now, instead of ringing out for days, this tom punches me in the face and then dies out nicely all without chopping up the audio. Finally, I gotta show you our vastly improved mix scenes. Let's say I'm working on a mix and I get a killer drum sound in the first hour of the mix. A few hours and some bad decisions later, I realize I've completely ruined my drums. But I like the way everything else sounds. Mix scenes allow me to recall portions of the mixer settings from hours or even days ago and compare them to the mix I have now instantly. No need to save versions or import data. It's just as simple as changing scenes. So powerful. For example, here's what this drum mix sounded like at the beginning of this video. And here's what it sounds like now. You can do all this and so much more with an incredible suite of included plugins inside Studio One Professional. These have always sounded amazing and now they look even better. Plus, we've added some upgrades like a linear phase high pass filter on Pro EQ and side chaining available across most of our plugins. Studio One is the place to mix your music. Thanks for watching and happy mixing.